Hey guys, Audits of Freedom here. Um, I'm on my GoPro. It is what you're seeing and hearing on this video. I will be going live here in the next five to 10 minutes. Uh, but I always, never really uh, upload these uh, GoPro footage cams. So I think I'm gonna start doing that on my channel uh, to kind of give you guys of what I go through before I start live recording or even start getting on site. I'm just, it's basically just me walking up to the sites, testing out stuff. Sometimes I get some pretty interesting stuff on here when I'm walking to the actual sites that, you know, us, you know, like some other auditors, you know what I'm saying? Like just before you go live or you start recording, something always happens and you go, damn it, I wish I started recording that. But it's kind of weird because it's a chest, uh, I got the chest strap, um, this holds the GoPro on. So it kind of looks like I'm walking around talking to myself. <laughs> and people are always like, like, straining their neck to look back at me like, what in the hell? What in the hell? But I'm going to basically, today I always go in the uh, two main entrances. Uh, there's three entrances to the uh, city hall over here in Cape Coral, Florida. Um, today I'm going to go in through the entrance that I normally don't go. I've never been in that entrance. It's just Southeast 8th Avenue. I think that's what it says. It's just right up here. So to give you guys this extra footage, I'm going to really try to keep my arm out of the way because I use a gimbal with my phone live. I uh, got a Samsung um, Galaxy 8 Plus that I do all the live recording on. I just, there's expensive ass cameras out there, but I tell you what, I mean, I paid like $1,100 for this phone, so the camera is awesome on it. And it's just more convenient. It's like everybody else knows, you know, it's a lot more convenient sometimes. Oh, these shoelaces. All right, so said so you're gonna hear me probably talking in both of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and go live here and set up for the gimbal. Gimbal itch. Southeast 8th, I think that's a good shot. Yeah, I don't have that view. Hey everybody, Audits of Freedom here. Coming to you live in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, we are back at the Cape Coral City Hall, uh, Cape Coral Police Department, Cape Coral Post Office, Cape Coral DMV. Everything is, is over here. It's all in one little nice little bundled area. Hey, Cowboys Nation, New Mexico, Bondra, how's it going? Said I'm trying to get my day stuff in. Uh, basically what we're doing here is, uh, I'm thinking, I came here the other time, it was in the daytime, I think like a week ago, and we had that real cool officer, um, that respected every bit of our rights to film out here, it was totally respectful. Um, looking for this invisible, supposedly no recording sign here at City Hall in this building here. Um. And I haven't been able to find it, but somebody was telling me it was like near near where the passports are or something like that. Thank you, Cowboys. Appreciate that. Hey, Mrs. AOF. But yeah, I, I wanted to get out and do some day stuff today because tomorrow morning I got that uh, back surgery. Where they're going to knock me out for a couple hours and do some microscopic surgery on my back. Hey, Kim, thanks for joining. Howdy. James, thank you. <laughs> D, Mom, how's it going? 
right now I, I was gonna go right into City Hall and I'm gonna look for this no you know recording sign or whatever. Supposedly it's near the passport area or something. Um, but I've looked at every window on this place and I could not find anything. Thank you, Vondra. Yeah, I am nervous as hell. <laughs> I haven't slept in like three days and worried about, you know, this is the whole process. It's not really the cutting on me part or anything like that. It's just being gassed, you know, knocked out. That's just, yeah, it just, I know it's instant and everything, but damn. <laughs> Right now, I'm actually behind the post office. Everything is over here on the other side of the building. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just, you put, you put your life in somebody else's hands, you know, that you pay a shitload of money to. <laughs> Thanks, Bondra. That's what everybody keeps saying. They're like, you're gonna be okay. It's, you know, it's supposedly like it's a real common surgery. It's 90 something or 98%, you know, success rate. And it, you know, the incision must not be too big because they just, they said they just glue you instead of putting stitches in. Yeah, you can see right here I'm uh, on a public sidewalk. I'm not sure what road this is, like Southeast 8th or something. And there's a gate uh, back here to the post. I've never really went back here and started filming the back of the, I went out here one time and nobody messed with me, but I don't think nobody seen me that day because it was so busy. That was cool. Hey, that guy pulled out. He was checking me out, but he waved. You normally don't see that at post offices and the ones I watch. <laughs> they, um, the day I went in here, it was so busy and I recorded the poster seven. And you know, people did see me in here, but nobody ever came up to me and told me I couldn't record, so. Figure I'd you know see what's going on over here today. It's the back of the post office. <laughs> I know Vonda, right? It's like a little ninja walking around. Nobody nobody ever sees me here. They just don't want to mess with me. Maybe it's just the way I comb my beard or I don't know. There's like a gray streak in my beard. Maybe it scares the hell out of them. I haven't seen any uh, thing here. Hey, where's Waldo? How's it going? No, I haven't seen any sign here, nor in the lobby. They got their poster. They do have their poster seven, you know, in a really good area, high traffic area where people can see it. And they have seen me in this post office, but I've never really farted around back here at the back of the property. And every time I come back here, they're either closed or nothing's going on, so. That's the second post office guy that broke his neck to look at me, but they're but they're waving. Absolutely, New Mexico. That's the way it should be. I'm not looking for to create a reaction to somebody. <laughs> they're gonna do it by themselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> the camera does it all. But that's the second one that waved at me. I mean, he was looking a little bit harder. He was trying to look through this fence here. <laughs> Uh, live free. I'm over at the uh, behind the Cape Coral Post Office um, right here in Cape Coral, Florida. I want to go over here and look. I, I don't know if it was you or somebody was talking about that. I haven't found that no recording sign yet. And the last time I came here, I looked and I couldn't find it. And then I heard somebody say something about it being like a, over on the wall around the passports or something. So I want to go inside there and you know what I mean? C. Yeah, right, exactly, New Mexico. D did it. D, she is on here. Oh, okay, they took the sign down. I got you. I thought that's what the deal was, that they admitted they, they took it down. But I'll make sure that it didn't get put back up. Um, I wanted to actually see if I could get, I don't really need one right now, but I feel if I do, I want to go get a complaint form. Um, and I want to see if I, I'm not sure, you guys might know, are those things, are they coded with like a serial number to where you can't make copies of them? You know what I mean? Or am I allowed to get one and make as many copies as I want? And some of them I know they got numbers on them and they all are different. You know what I mean? But if I just want one basically if I can make copies of it. I will definitely try Live Free. 
for sure. Any, anybody on here for uh, live free or die people, if you're not subscribed to his channel, check it out. This guy right here is awesome. Um, and he gets out there and I mean, he asks the questions that a lot of us just forget to ask or don't even ask. And just got a big set of balls on him, basically. He, he really, he came here after I had issues and, and just investigated the hell out of him. And I love it and I thank you for that. But yeah, if you're not subscribed to his channel, Live Free die, or Die People, check him out. For sure. This guy's nothing about, he's all about truth. Unlike some other auditors out here that just like to create situations and to make money. <laughs> yeah, kisses. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try to get out there, dude. I just, I'm out here starting over here with this. And like I said, I, I'm trying to get out and keep my mind off the surgery crap tomorrow. So, and I don't know, they say I can walk the very next day after surgery. So we'll see how that goes. I guess this is, this area I'm at right now is the back of the post office. Uh, it looks like employee parking. And they got some serious fencing here too. It's all barbed wire. And then up ahead is where I was, was the, uh, you know, rear parking lot, you know, where they load the mail and stuff. Whew. And guys, I hate this. Y'all are living in cold areas right now. It's like 80, 81 or 82 degrees out right now. I'm sweating. <laughs> Let's say attorney. I got you. I got you. Sure. Verizon? No, sir. Not really sure, sorry. Kind of weird. Somebody just rolled up to me and asked me, uh, you know where Verizon is? New Jersey plates. That was weird. Yeah, exactly, New Mexico. I mean, it's just, I, I wish more people would just be that way. And there is a lot of us that are that way that just don't create the situation, you know? Throw the same respect out that you want. I hope so, D. It'd be nice. I haven't danced in a while. <laughs> well, we've caught the attention of two carriers that came out of here and just checked me out, basically. Didn't say anything and they waved. So that's already a plus for the Cape Coral Post Office. I'm not even inside. But you damn well sure, you know, these guys probably got on their phones or, you know, they probably even didn't. I'm gonna get ran over. Mm -hmm. You see, I don't even, I'm not even really saying nothing or anything. I'm just kind of chilling, same with this guy. He's got a bunch of traffic, so. Basically just check me out, didn't say nothing. I think that's the way it should be. Yep. Not entering their property, staying on the public sidewalk. That's what you should be doing anyway. Oh, here's a... I know, right? <laughs> well, I got to conceal here. Well, I don't know, unless I'm carrying, maybe if there's some weird law with a fishing pole here, or when you're fishing, you can have like a gun or whatever. So maybe like I'll carry a fishing pole around with me, try it that way. <laughs> fishing pole and then I can open carry with it. Sorry if the sun's getting it guys, it's kind of an angle on the, the way angle I'm at right now. All right, so that was the no trespassing with the statue and everything. I'm gonna start walking back over towards the, I'm wondering if this guy is delivering mail or he's calling in. This was the last guy that pulled out of the post office right here in front of me. Yeah, go get one of the, oh, you know what would really be interesting in New Mexico? I don't know if you're having the same issue on your side, but wearing one of those uh, Stephen King's, the it, you know, that clown mask. I definitely would get shot probably. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that. They're like, they, they got like criminals and shit robbing people that are wearing those masks. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. That would get some attention though. 
if I was looking to make money or get attention or arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, that would just be awesome. Sorry guys, trying to light my cigarette here before I get on that property because I know I got all them freaky signs where you can't smoke. Oh, I think I see the uh, motorcycles, the bike cop bikes in the back. They're like right there, I'm heading that way. So we'll be able to take a look at them up close. I've never seen them up close. I know they got a, like two or three. I don't know how many they have here in Cape Coral, but every time I see them, there is all, uh, we got a main dragway called Del Prado out here. I always see them hiding in the little nooks at the gas stations. They don't even got to hide though. They just kind of blend into the parking lot. Park right by a gas pump. You can't even see them. All right, so I had like four or five people pull out from behind the post office. Didn't say nothing. Waved, very respectful. And I know they seen what I was doing because they sat there for a second and was, you know, trying to turn their head to look. Now this side over here, when you go from the other sides, it all says like employee parking. So I've never really walked on that side. It says employee parking only, but it doesn't say no trespassing as far as me being on foot. And I have walked back there in the in the nighttime before when they were closed, but that that's those signs right there i mean if you really want to battle them they're really just for like you know if you're driving they don't want you to park there hey cameras everywhere how you doing thanks for joining good morning all right so i'm heading up to the rear or southwest corner side of the cape coral city hall here in florida uh, i want to go back in there and make sure that they did take down the uh uh, no recording or no cell phone sign that they had here originally. I, I've never seen it, but like I said, it, I must have recorded it and uh, I just didn't catch it. But I want to definitely see if there's one over here somewhere hiding, but still post it. So we are now on the city property, which 